What's up my friends, welcome back to another video. And today I just wanted to walk you through how you can set up a successful membership in Kajabi. So we'll go over exactly how you can create it and the components you really need to make the membership a success for the long term. So let's kind of dive in. First of all, you wanna make sure that you understand um, Kajabi treats its memberships as any regular course. So you would click course. If you wanna create a membership from scratch, you would essentially click course. Uh, previously, they did have membership as an option, but after the overhaul and the GUI update, they now just consider it a course. But if you take a look down here, you can see that they, um, they basically say there's a membership area. So this is exactly where you're gonna be uploading your content on a monthly basis, assuming that you add regular content to your membership. And then you're also gonna create a separate community, which is like a private forum, like a Facebook group for your members to hang out in and discuss and encourage one another and all that stuff. So what I've done here is I have my membership, which is called Chris's Composing Community. And then I have the Chris's Composing Community community. So one is the membership. Again, it's like the course itself and the other is the community. So let me quickly show you the membership area. So um, yeah. Essentially, the way I have it set up is I have the monthly master classes, which is the first core component. You want to make sure you're adding monthly content to your membership. In this case, I just have like a 30 to 45 minute class that I add to my membership every single month. And depending on what the topic is, I'll just upload that piece of content to my membership. So I have modules on or topics on like orchestration. I have topics on composing music. I have topics on life and business, right? So lots of different key areas that I wanna talk about, but every single month I'll upload a different class. So you can do this by simply, you know, recording your class, then coming in here to the back end, and then you click add content, then you wanna click add a lesson, and then you would then go in and add your video and add the text and stuff like that. So that's the monthly master classes section. And then the second core component is the live access to you as the course creator or the membership owner, right? So every month I also host like a Q and A coaching call in the middle of the month where my members can ask me any questions they want. Um, they can get, you know, their, their questions asked, uh, answered live by me, which uh, is part of what they're paying for. So after each call that we do through Zoom, I'll go through, edit out the, the you know, the dead spaces and everything and then I'll upload that call to this area as well every single month. So that's core component number two. And then, you know, you can add other elements as well, like the success path is very important. Here I have a track feedback corner, which is where my mem members can submit their music for feedback at any time and things like that. You just wanna make it as, you know, as fun as possible and as seamless as possible for them to enjoy. So let's take a, qu a quick preview at what this membership looks like on the customer's perspective. So here you can see I have my landing page, uh, very sleek design here. This is actually the membership uh, membership theme uh, sold by Kajabi experts. Now at the time of this recording, they are no longer uh, being supported by Kajabi anymore. So you will have to use a different theme for your membership if, if I'm not mistaken, but this is the way I have it set up. So as soon as they log in, I have a welcome video. This is a separate landing page that I, that I basically link them to. And then I have my community, which is the third core component, but then you can see all these other things we talked about are listed here on the left-hand side. So if they wanna see the success path, they can certainly do that, right? There's my starting stage. If they wanna go back to the welcome area, they can do that as well. But let's say we wanna access the community. So we click that. I like to open it in a new tab, and then uh, it gives them the opportunity to switch back and forth between the membership area and the community area. So this is the third and final component. So here, I like to put a little blurb on the right side to tell them a couple of, you know, housekeeping rules, you know, make sure you participate, be courteous, respectful. If you want to go back into the membership area, just click here. So you want to make it super easy for them to navigate. And then also you can create topics, right? So in the, in the community backend, I've created these separate topics. So members can ask specific questions, um, depending on what topic they want to ask them under. So you can categorize them under topics and you can also just access the feed itself. And this will show the pin post at the very top. So I also host a monthly scoring, uh, yeah, monthly scoring challenge, which enables my members to look at a piece of uh, piece of video or an image and then write music based on that. But then after that, it, it basically shows the um, you know the most recent post at the very top, and then as we go down, it becomes uh, you know later posts. But yeah, it's a great way for your members to interact, and the com community aspect is a great place for people to form relationships and get to know each other, encourage one another. And this is what they're really sticking around for at the end of the day. So just to quickly recap, the three core components are the, um, the monthly content, which you want to make sure you upload to your course area. You know, you might have separate 
topics that you want to upload them under. Then you also want to make sure you have your live access. So that's maybe like Zoom coaching calls or whatever you want to do. You can do like live feedback, whatever that may be. But that's what I do. And then I upload them here to the area. So if we take a look, you know, we have, I'm having a Zoom call with my, my, my members and then it's like an hour long. I also like to timestamp the different questions. And then again, if they want to access the community, which is third, the third and final component, then they can just click on that tab and it opens that new tab where they can then ask questions or whatever they want to do. And again, in the back end, it's super easy to set up. So again, you create a single course for your membership area and then you would just upload material consistently there. And then the separate community product allows you to create these separate topics. And then you can kind of see some analytics, like some new, what are the new posts in the last week? How many new members have you had to join? And you can go directly to the community if you want to as well. And again, you can customize the sidebar. So at the time of this recording, Kajabi is actually working on a revamped community. Um, so a lot of people want to see more features in the community products. I personally like how it is at the moment. You know, I like the fact that we can heart comments, we can uh, tag people, we can reach out privately to people and interact with the, our, our fellow members that way. But it'll be really exciting to see what Kajabi does with the community product in the near future. So I'll definitely make a video following up about that. But yeah, um, that's how you would set up a membership and community inside of Kajabi. I hope that kind of made sense. And if you want to try out Kajabi for yourself, they typically uh, offer you a 14 day free trial on their website. But as a thank you for watching this video, I want to give you an extended 30 day free trial using my affiliate link below in the description box, uh, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. And all this means is that if you become a paying member after your free trial on Kajabi, then part of your payment will come back to support me and the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but just know that you can get the, uh, the extended free trial by using my link below. Um, and as a more incentive, I want to give you two bonus mini courses as a thank you again for using my link. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 days. So this one goes over how I would use Kajabi from start to finish if I was to start from, uh, from scratch. So it goes through how to set up your first pages, set up your website, your products, and all of that stuff from start to finish. And if you put that into practice, you can really get up and running within a few days and start selling if you really wanted to. Um, and the second course you'll get after you become a paying member, you can email me your receipt, show me your proof of purchase, and I will send you that course as well. And this one goes over my content marketing strategy. So it's called content marketing for creatives. And I go over how I, how I basically give content to the world for free, but also monetize my knowledge in the back end. So it's a really seamless process that allows me to work a certain number of hours, but my system in the back end on Kajabi basically works for me as a result. So both of, the, both of those courses, I want to give them to you free after you use my link in the description box below. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.